What's going on, YouTube? Josh, aka Slashy Joshy here. We're doing a mock draft today, actually. Fantasy football. Um, gonna go over my picks. Um, drafting at the three spot out of um, 10 today. Uh, this is a 10 team uh, PPR mock draft. Uh, it's gonna be one QB, two running backs, two wide receivers, a tight end, and a flex. Uh, with a defense and kicker, of course, too. <clears throat> but uh, I'm going to walk through and kind of do my draft. Uh, kind of walk through everyone's picks as well. It auto-picks the computers. So um, I'll kind of try to keep up with everything, and uh, let's get into it. So McCaffrey went one. That's I kind of think that's a no-brainer this year. I know he got hurt last year. I think that was kind of fluky. But when he plays, he gets you know, 30, 40 points a game. It's pretty insane. He... Um, He's like a dream fantasy running back. So he's going number one. Uh, Dalvin Cook, number two. Can't go wrong there. I got him and Kamara probably at the two spot. Um, either one of those would be good at two. So I'm going to take Kamara at three. Um, if you like Zeke, that's cool. I'm always going running back in the first round. Unless you're like... Well, in a 10-team league, you're probably going to want to go running back in the first round no matter what. Um, because I just don't see – I mean, you could go Adams maybe actually. that Now that Aaron Rodgers is back, he could be a first-round pick. Tyreek Hill might be a first-round pick. He's so boomer bust, though. That's the problem. Your first-round pick is going to want to be your dude, you know, your guy that's going to get you 20, 30 points you can rely on. I just started raining uh, every week. So I'm going to go Kamara. He balled out for me last year. I had him. He was killing it last year. Um, so I went Kamara. Okay. Let's go. Let's see what happened. Okay, so Derrick Henry went four. Um, great running back, obviously. Arguably the best in the league. Um, in a PPR league, though, I would think about getting Zeke, maybe who catches some balls. Jonathan Taylor catches some balls. Um, I don't know if I'd go Jonathan Taylor this high, though. That's kind of crazy. Seven? Is he really going that high? Um, but Derrick Henry, I mean, he's going to get you touchdowns. He's going to get you the yards. So it's definitely a safe pick. I'm not disagreeing with him at four. Um, Barkley would definitely be up there for me. I know he's kind of still hurt, so that is a little concerning. Um, still worth a first-round pick, though, I think. But maybe later here, I think I would go Zeke over Barkley here. Uh, it kills me to say it, but I think Zeke's going to have a really good year with Dak being back and everything. I think he's going to flourish. So that I would probably switch these. Jonathan Taylor is going to be poised for a big year for sure. Um, I, I, I don't think he's going to be the, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't think he's going to be the number seven running back though. Um, but not a bad pick at seven, I guess. First round running back. I could definitely see him in the first round. Tyree Kill, Devontae Adams, those are going to be the kind of end of the first round wide receivers that you might want to take a take a chance on and then double up on running backs immediately in round two and three if you're if you're uh drafting a wide receiver one. You're definitely going to need to double up on running backs. Chubb, just like Henry, a beast. He's going to get the yards. He's going to get the touchdowns. He's going to get the touches, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Stephon Diggs starting off round two. I like that. I think he's probably my wide receiver one, to be honest. I love Stephon Diggs. I think he's going to go off again this year. Him and Josh Allen had pretty gnarly chemistry, and they, they're they probably going to do it again this year. So I wouldn't I, – I, that's a very safe pick. At, uh, number one of round two. Eckler, number two. Love love Eckler. Um, I think he was hurt a little last year, but when he plays 16 – 17 games now. This dude's going to go off. It's kind of like a, li a mini McCaffrey. Um, gets the catches, gets the rushes. Uh, Aaron Jones, it benefits him, actually, that Aaron Rodgers coming back. His stock was a little down, but now that Aaron Rodgers is back, Aaron Rodgers dumps it to him a lot. He actually has better hands than a lot of people think. Aaron Jones gets the touchdowns as well. So that's a great pick as well. Aaron Jones, three on second. Antonio Gibson. The middle of the second round. I love to see it. Dude's going to blow up this year. Um, 
nothing but praise. First year as a running back, he almost had a thousand yards total. I think um, him and the only thing he's not going to catch uh, as many passes as you would think because McKissick is kind of the third down back in Washington. He has great hands. McKissick does and um, seem to be the receiving back, um, the third down back, if you will. Um, on Washington. So that's a good pick. He's going to get his touchdowns. He had 11 as a rookie, so he'll get more for sure. DeAndre Hopkins, don't have to say much. He's going to go off again. As always, Kelsey, love this pick. Uh, I do think he's, you know, up there with the top wide receivers even. Uh, if you can get Kelsey in your league, you're going to win. Um, you're going to win a lot of games. That tight end gap with Kelsey and then the number two tight end is just unreal. So if you can get that separation at tight end, that's going to get you some more points um, throughout the year. Uh, it's going to be insane. You're, you're going to win some more games just on tight end alone. Najee Harris. I do love the potential. I love the potential here. I think he's going to go off this year actually as a rookie. I think he's going to, um, he's going to have a great year uh, in Pittsburgh. Looks like he runs hard, can catch the ball pretty well too. So this is a great second round pick. Um, great second round, late second round pick too. So I'm at eight now, second round. Mixon, <laughs> I, I don't like Joe Mixon. I really don't. I've I've had him a couple of years, and he always just seems so lackluster. Uh, I do want to go running back again, unless. Mm, that's what am I drafting? I'm drafting in five more spots. Actually, you know what? At this spot, it might be good to go wide receiver here. Um, especially because we're doing all we're doing three. Yep, three wide receivers. I got Kamara. That's a solid running back who's gonna get more than enough points. Um, so I'm actually gonna go Ridley here. I I love Calvin Ridley. He's even poised for a bigger workload now. Uh, the dude's an animal. So, uh, yeah, I'm going with him. <laughs> Not much to say. I mean, he's a baller. He's been balling for a few years now. So, um, Keenan Allen, great hands, great route runner, great wide receiver fans he was as well. Uh, I probably wouldn't have taken him over DK and Justin Jefferson, but that's that's cool. If these two fall, fell to me in the third, I'd probably take one of these, actually, because having Calvin Ridley and one of these two would be insane. Even A.J. Brown sitting there is kind of tempting, I'm not going to lie, and your boy Terry. Uh, I wouldn't take Terry in the third, though, I don't think. I think, honestly, Terry's going to have a good year, but a not an insane year, in my opinion. I think that we have a lot of mouths to feed this year, so... Um, Fitzpatrick, you know, if he he's going to find his favorite, if it is Terry, then Terry's going to go off. Uh, mix him with the end of second. DK and Justin Jefferson, these two are young, um, insane fantasy wide receivers. They just put up numbers. Uh, both of them are amazing. If you get them at the beginning of the third round, that's not a bad pick. Um, if you don't, if you have... Let me, let me rephrase this whole double up on running back thing. In a 10-person league... It's probably okay to not double up on a running back. I know that running backs are the key to fantasy football, basically. Um, but if you're if you're getting one of these top tier guys in these in the third round or the late second, you might want to take a Calvin Ridley to bolster that wide receiver. Wide receivers are just so deep, man. That's the thing. A lot of people you can wait to draft a wide receiver till like round four and still have good receivers. Um, it's pretty crazy. You could go like three running backs in a row and then do four wide receivers in a row, to be honest, or whatever you're feeling, really. Uh, but in my opinion, I think that you're going running back most of the time unless these some of these wide receivers like Kelsey's here in the late second, take Kelsey in the late second. If Hopkins falls to late, I would take Hopkins. I wouldn't take Hopkins early second. Diggs, I would take late first, early second. Uh, Keenan Allen, DK, Justin Jefferson, Calvin Ridley. These guys are all going to be your early third, late second round picks that I think are just going to do really well this year. Amari Cooper, meh. Dak's back, though. That is true. But Amari Cooper is weird. He'll go off for like 100 yards and two touchdowns, and then he'll get nothing. Um, I might go Clyde Edwards-Hilaire here. I think he's going to have a good year. I think 
he becomes more of a passing option this year as well. I like DeAndre Swift too, actually. I had him last year. He did really well. Chris Carson always goes under the radar as well. But I'm going to go Clyde Edwards Hilaire. Hopefully that AJ Brown pick doesn't haunt me later because I would have liked to have him too. But now that we have both of our running backs secure, let's check it out. We have Edwards Hilaire and Alvin Kamara. I'm very happy with those. Ooh, we got a Kamara in really at bye week six. Sometimes it's better to just eat one bye week and just take the L that week. But, um, okay, so we got two more wide receiver spots to fill, a flex. I might even go running back. I might go Chris Carson here again. Um, I'm going to prove to you how deep wide receiver is. Look at Julio and Mike Evans going in the mid-fourth round. Josh Allen, Dak, Lamar, ooh, and who else? Waller went, Patrick Mahomes. So quarterbacks are starting to go off the board. I'm not too worried. You still got Kyler. You still got Russell Wilson. You still got Herbert. You still got Rodgers. You still got Brady. <laughs> you, you can wait on a quarterback in a 10-person lead. The top, This is the top nine right here, and I'm fine with any of these quarterbacks as my number one. I'm not kicking myself for you know, losing out on that. Um, I am going to go with another running back. J.K. Dobbins could be a good pick here. Miles Sanders, I'm very iffy on. Um, I drafted him pretty high last year, and he didn't pan out well, so. I don't know if he's the guy there, uh, but Chris Carson's a dog. He seems to get a lot of touches. He gets a lot of touchdowns. So I'm going to go him, put him at the flex for sure. Um, and we're going to go from there. I didn't really read up on these. Sorry about that. Let me read on these. So they have uh, Mahomes, Brown, CeeDee Lamb, Darren Waller, A.J. Robinson, Kittle, McLaurin, all great wide receivers. C.D. Lamb's a little high in my eyes. Um, in the third round, I think I'd go with any of these before CD Lamb. These guys down here, uh, Swift fell to four. That's pretty crazy. Michael Thomas, not so high on him. He's got he got injured actually recently again. I think he had surgery, and then they don't know what the hell they're doing, dude. And the, the Saints don't know, man. They have, they don't even know who's starting. Taysom Taysom Hill or James Winston. In, in my eyes, that's kind of dangerous. This late in the off season to not even know who your quarterback is. I don't know. That's two very different quarterbacks that they don't have an idea of and um, they don't have the game playing around. Lamar Jackson, Josh Allen, Dak, three great quarterbacks that are all going to have great fantasy years. Julio Jones, Mike Evans, Chris Carson, I took. These two are great wide receivers. Um, I'm looking for wide receiver two, I believe, right? Wide receiver two. Oh, I didn't make these tiers, by the way, guys. Sorry. So if you disagree, it's not my fault. <laughs> um. But yeah, we're filling wide receiver right. So we have three running backs. I'm pretty happy with all three of our running backs. DJ Moore, good. Deontay Johnson, good. Tyler Lockett, Adam Thielen. So here's what I'm doing, dude. And this is, again, proves my point. The fifth round, and we have four very good options at a number two wide receiver to pick from. The fifth round, Cooper Cup, Chris Godwin, Robert Woods, and Amari Cooper both just went in the late fourth and early fifth. So you're going to want to wait on wide receivers, man. I'm telling you, the wide receiver class just gets more and more stacked every every single year, it seems. So I'm going Tyler Lockett. This guy goes under the radar every year in fantasy, and it's insane. He catches bombs from Russell. He's a deep threat. He catches one deep bomb a game at least. So he's getting 50 yards a game, and then, I mean, he gets a touchdown all the time too. Him and DK just dominate the field. They spread the field so well. They're hard to cover. It's a it's a it's probably the best wide receiver in the duo in the league. Um, behind Julio and AJ Brown now, but I'm going Tyler Lockett with my wide receiver too. Uh, we'll see who goes next. Thielen, Dobbins. I can't see. <laughs> okay, hold on. Adam Thielen, J.K. Dobbins. Um, Adam Thielen's great. He's still a, still a beast. He might be the number two there now uh, behind Justin Jefferson, but he still gets his touchdowns. Uh, doesn't get a lot of yards as he used to. He gets the receptions. Um, J.K. Dobbins, I think he's poised to have a good year. Montgomery finished strong last year. I like that pick in the fifth. Uh, Deontay Johnson, I had Deontay Johnson last year for a little, and he either went off for me or he was hurt in the first quarter. And he cost me the game. It was very frustrating, so I'm staying away from him this year. Uh, that's just my personal experience. Uh, he could have a great year. He's he's a good player. He's talented. D.J. Moore was good. Um, I didn't think he had as good of a year as people rejected last year. 
Kenny Galladay, I don't think that this is as God tier of a signing as Giants Giant fans think. In my humble Washington fan unbiased opinion, <laughs> um, I do think he has a downgraded quarterback in Daniel Jones from Matt Stafford. He seems to get hurt a lot, so I mean he's he's good in the late fifth. I would take him in the late fifth. It's not like it's a reach or anything, but. Not high on him this year. Kareem Hunt, that's a great pick in the late fifth. He's going to get his catches. He's going to get rushes as well. They have a two-headed monster there with him and Chubb. Uh, T. Higgins is a young on the up-and-coming wide receiver. I think Jamar Chase is going to take over that one spot in Cincinnati, though. That dude is insane. Um, so I, I think I would almost draft Jamar Chase over this guy, to be honest. Josh Jacobs fell to sixth round. Whew. That's crazy. Let's see what we got at running back, actually. Wow, Sanders, Etienne. I'm going to wait. I, none of those guys are screaming at me right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get our third wide receiver. Odell Beckham Jr. I, or Chase Claypool. I like both of those here. Um, Cortland Sutton, quarterback, isn't strong. He's a good player. Robbie Anderson, same. Um, Robbie Anderson did not score last year. I swear he got a lot of yards, a lot of catches a game, but he just did not find the end zone. Um, Odo Beckham Jr., I mean, he's he's very talented. You can't argue it. He's one of the most talented wide receivers in the league. Um, and then Chase Claypool obviously is up and coming. Little baby Megatron there in uh, Pittsburgh. Um, but again, they have Juju, they have Deontay, they have Chase Claypool. So I'm worried about the mouse to feed Odo Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry. Um, Jarvis Landry and Odell, they're both great. I think I'm going to go Odell, Odell Beckham here. Um, and then if Chase is still there in the next round, I'm taking him. So we'll see. Mmm, Kyle Pitts went. Oh, that's a good pick. Okay. And Hawkinson. Okay. I might want to check on tight end here. Um, wow. Mark Andrews is still here. And Logan Thomas. Just made a video about him. Okay, so this is the thing about tight end. If you do not get, if you do not get Kelsey, or there's three, there's three tight ends: Kelsey, Waller, and Kittle. If you do not get those three in the first three, four rounds, then there's really no point in rushing tight end. Mark Andrews is actually a beast, and I think he's my fifth tight end. So I actually am going to take Mark Andrews here. Um, I mean, dude, just finds the end zone. And, ah, but do I want to chase Claypool? Maybe chase Claypool. Mm, I'll wait. I'll do tight end. Let's get a starting tight end. Chase Claypool would be an, a bench player right now, so we'll just do... We'll get Mark Andrews and solidify our starting line some more. Uh, dude played well last year. He gets touchdowns like a magnet, dude. All right, and we're going to start looking at QB. What I tell you? It's the eighth round, and I'm staring Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady in the face, two of the greatest quarterbacks to ever live. They're not going to get you rushing touchdowns. They're not going to get you rushing yards. Rodgers sneaks in a couple every year. Brady doesn't rush any touchdowns. They're not the Lamar Jacksons of the league. They're not the Kyler Murrays. But they're going to throw touchdowns, and they're going to throw yards. So really, it doesn't – I promise you the point differential is not that much bigger from quarterback one to quarterback eight every year. You can look it up. It's not a big deal. That's why you wait on quarterback unless you really love a guy like Mahomes or something or you, you're just a big fan and you want him on the squad, then go for it. But you're starting to see people are starting to catch back up because they drafted a quarterback up here, getting the Tyler Boyds, the Curtis Samuels, Will Fullers. And this, again, goes back to how stacked the wide receivers are this year. Eighth round. And you're still getting guys like Chark, Boyd, Samuel. Good number three wide receivers, I think, this year um, down in the eighth round. So Jerry Judy. So I'm going Aaron Rodgers. Uh, news broke. He's playing with the Packers this year. He's going to. People are like, he's not going to care. He's not going to try it. Yes, he is. He's going to try. 
because he's trying to win, dude. That's what he wants to do more than anything. He's not looking for money. He's looking to be on a great team that wants to win. He wants more rings. He wants to win championships. He only has one. He's getting older. He knows it. He's going to ball out. I'm going Aaron Rodgers. <sighs> and you can go Brady there. Brady's shows no signs of flowing down. He's going to throw. He's going to have a great year as well. I mean, these guys are all going to finish. Jalen Hurts is bad there. That's a bad pick there. I don't know what. <laughs> okay. I would have gone. Ooh, Tannehill actually is very high on my list. Um, I love Tannehill this year. I think he's going to go off. He's probably a top 10 quarterback, top nine, top eight, top seven, top six. <laughs> he's up there, dude. I, I, I'm very high on him this year. Um, if this was a double quarterback league, I'd be picking him right now. Uh, but Jalen Hurts over these four is insane. You should not do that. Tannehill's going to have a great year. Julio Jones, A.J. Brown. Derrick Henry for the run game. He runs well too. Um, Matthew Stafford's in in the ra- on the Rams. This is another reason you can wait on quarterback, dude. Burrow's gonna have a great year. Matt Ryan is Matt Ryan's last on this list. I'm taking these three over Matt Ryan. I don't like Matt Ryan as much this year with the loss of Julio. He does get Kyle Pitts, but we've never seen Kyle Pitts play, so I can't bank on Kyle Pitts being there. Um, Let's go with a backup running back, a fourth running back. Let's check on the wide receivers. Uh, not like a many there. Let's do another running back. Javante Williams. Mm. What else we got? David Johnson, no. Ronald Jones. Leonard Fournette. Okay, now we're talking. So... At this point, I'm in the ninth round. I have basically my starters picked out. I'm looking to build depth, build bench, so that if one of these guys gets hurt, I have a solid um, solid piece to fill right in. So you can handcuff here. You could get like the Saints back up. You could get the Chiefs back up. I would wait on handcuffing a little later than this round, though. With, with no bench players, a handcuff should be probably one of your last few picks. Uh, not many people are going to ba- draft Kamara's backup, right? Kamara's in every down back. Well, is Latavius Murray still on the Saints? Latavius Murray actually gets some touches, but Kamara, I mean, Clyde edwards hilaire those guys aren't getting out much often. They're getting the ball most of the time. Chris Carson, same same deal. Every down backs. So here I'm going actually Leonard Fournette. Um, Denver's offense is atrocious. That marks off the top two. James Robinson actually... I didn't even see him. Uh, yeah, this dude's a beast. This dude had a really good year last year. Where's his uh, stats? Yeah, 1,000 rushing yards as a rookie and 10 touchdowns. So it was between him. Most targets hurt too much. Damian Harris, meh. Michael Carter, meh. I'm going between James Robinson and Fournette, but I'm going to pick James Robinson. If Fournette's there, I'm picking him too. It's, you can never have enough running backs in fantasy, so... He just went, okay. Antonio Brown, that's a sneaky pick. Okay, um, so the defense is starting to go. Not too weird about that. Again, they don't, that's not a big point separating position. So uh, Landry, Jones, Gordon, Debo, Javante Williams. That's a rookie, right? I believe. Yeah, he's a rookie running back. Maybe I'm stupid. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Marquise Brown, that's a good pick. David Johnson's old washed. Wouldn't wouldn't pick him. Gallup, it's not a bad pick for 10th round. Mostert, hurt injury prone. Fournette and AJ Brown, I like both of those this late. Those are gr- both great picks. Ronald Jones is actually a solid uh, running back. Um, Naheem Hines, if you're in a PPR, he's great. He gets a ton of catches. We're going to go back to uh, wide receiver, though. Get another wide receiver and bolster that position. Get our first bench wide receiver. Corey Davis on the Jets. Devontae Parker. Jalen Waddle is uh what's his name still here? Jamar Chase. I'm so high on him and I don't think he is. Did he get drafted? Where did he get drafted?
Huh. Sorry for the pause there. Um, don't see him. Okay. Um, am I crazy? Is he right here? Okay, whatever. Uh, Jamar Chase, I'm high on, though. Uh, another rookie wide receiver I'm high on is Jalen Waddle. Um, and then I think Devontae Parker is just safe here. Corey Davis, I don't know how he's going to do in, in, in New York with Zach Wilson. I don't really – I'm not a big believer in Zach Wilson. I think him going number two was kind of crazy, in my opinion. I think there was a, a few other uh, quarterbacks. Well, Justin Fields uh, definitely should have went over. Uh, Zach Wilson, in my opinion, but I'm going to go Devontae Parker here. That's, that's a good bench wide receiver to have. He, he does pretty solid every year. Um, and then Darnell Moody, T.Y. 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 Okay. Um, I kind of wish it would just show me all of them, but not worth it to get a backup QB here. You don't really need to get a backup quarterback till like one of the last rounds. It's not really worth it. Um, no, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need that either. Um, let's go another wide receiver. Actually, after this pick, I'm probably just gonna sim the rest. You just need to fill out your bench with your with what you think is the best available player. Um, it really doesn't matter. Um, if you have a good running back, if you have a good wide receiver for those backup positions. It does matter. I'm not saying it doesn't it doesn't matter who you pick, but it's really up to personal preference towards the end when you get into guys like um, Michael Carter and Ronald Jones and Kenny Drake and Zach Moss and um, Corey Davis. I'm going to go Corey Davis here, though. He is a good wide receiver, but yeah. All right. Uh, that kind of wraps it up. That was my – that was number three. Um, in a 10 team PPR. So I'm really happy with this lineup. Let me sim to end. Where is it? Auto draft. I got a B, 86 out of 100. Meh, not bad. But Aaron Jones, Alvin Kamara, Clyde Edward Tiller, Calvin Ridley, Tyler Lockett, Odo Beckham Jr., Mark Andrews, Chris Carson, Colts defense, Jason Sanders. Uh, James Robinson on the bench. That's insane. He's a great running back. He could probably, I don't know why he's all the way down there. He's probably a, a fourth or fifth round pick, I would think. Uh, Devontae Parker, good wide receiver. Corey Davis, Logan Thomas, backup tight end. Matt Saver, backup QB. Terry Cohen. Uh, that's my it's my first mock draft on the channel. Uh, drafting three in a 10-team PPR. Uh, I'm pretty excited with that team. I'm pretty good. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this draft. Think where I went wrong. Tell me. I love I love opinions. Constructive criticism, I thrive on it. So let me know uh, where you think I went wrong or if you think I'm <laughs> wrong about anything I said. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the video. I'll probably do like five or six. I'm probably going to do most of them in this sweatshirt. I don't wear the sweatshirt every day. I'm just filming all the videos in this. So uh, like, comment, subscribe on the video. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know. Thanks.